In this video, we're going to add a question, uh, first of all, to a collection, and then we're going to add an assessment to a particular lesson. Uh, to do this, it's uh, to start the process, it's pretty easy. Uh, click on Add a Question. And you can see then in the left column, there are some options. You can create multiple choice, uh, multiple answer, which is a multiple choice question, but where a combination of the options is correct. We've got true and false, fill in the blank, uh, an open-ended um, paragraph type question. And then you've got uh, three different hotspot or hot text um, options where you can put in a, a, a picture or a, or a sentence and the student needs to click on some aspect either of the picture or a word in the sentence. Right, uh, in this example, I'm going to make a multiple choice question. Uh, I click in the, the rich text editor box under question. And um, my question is express 14 over 25 as a percentage. Now, um, uh, the maths purists will say, oh, I don't like that 14 forward slash 25. I want it uh, expressed as a proper ratio or a fraction. So what you can do is you can use this little symbol here for your maths symbols or equations. And in the little box that appears, you can see you've got some various setups, um, common usages. I, mine's very straightforward, so I'm going for the very first one. And then uh, I can replace the x plus 3, which in this case should be a 14. And uh, the x minus 1 is 25. And um, then I can say, uh, click out. You can see that now I've got 14 over 25, which is um, much nicer than that um, previous expression. So I've removed that. And now I'm ready to put in some some answer choices. So I'll put in 14 and 0 0.56. And you can see I've, I need more. So I'm going to say plus an answer choice. Uh, C is going to be my answer at 56%. And I need one more. And this one is going to be expressed as 14 colon 25. I do need to show which is the correct answer. So if you see on the right hand side, I can click where the correct answer should be. And uh, once again, they want to make sure that this is your own question that you haven't nicked it from a textbook, perhaps, um, which is uh, proprietary, because uh, we want to keep it as open as possible. But once you're happy, you can say, add. And now you can see that in our collection, we have a little video as the, the starter, and then we have a question uh, as part of the collection. It should be pointed out that if you've added questions to a collection, then the Guru platform treats it as a formative assessment. Uh, it will provide feedback to the students and so on, let them know which is the right or incorrect answers uh, and so on, but not track their performance over time. F to do that, instead, we need to include an assessment at the lesson level. So if I click on Objective 1 Lesson folder here, then we can see that uh, there's the collection that we've been building, but now we want to create an assessment. And in this case, we're going to create our own assessment. Uh, it'll require a name, so I'll just call it Summative Assessment for objective number one. And we could, uh, if we were good, we could actually add in the learning objective there to make sure we're on track. We can identify who it's of particular interest to, and then we can say, let's go in and have a look. Now, um, it looks very similar to what it was 
uh, how it appeared in the collection. In fact, the mechanism is exactly the same. You'll click on the add question and now you can lay out the test um, as you see fit.